Hey, Chris with RC Worst here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be walking you through how to test two different types of float switches, um, different in more ways than one. So stay tuned. <music> Boy, that intro was great, wasn't it? All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are. We've got a couple of pump switches here, one without a plug, like that, and one with a plug, AKA the piggyback plug. Um, we're gonna show you how to test those using an ohm meter. So we've got the meter set to the sound setting. I'm sure you heard that. Um, so we're able to easily and audibly tell uh, what our connection is doing, whether we have one or not. Uh, words. Anyways, uh, so basically what we're going to do is hook the meter one side to one side of the wire and one side to the other side of the wire and see what happens. And since we're using our handy dandy 15 or $18, I forget how much it cost me, $18 meter, I think, um, got at the local Harbor Freight. Um, super cheap. I just wanted to show you guys how you can actually perform some of these tests using the cheap meter, so I like to bust it out from time to time. It's actually the first meter I ever bought for myself, um, and it's happened to be super cheap because I tend to be pretty cheap uh, when I can. So anyways, we've got that hooked up. So now when we lift this up, because this, this one here in the down position, it is open, or we hope it's open. Uh, so it's a normally open float, which is commonly referred to as a pump down float, if you're not familiar. Once it goes up, pump kicks on, water level drops, and it shuts back off. So we got good continuity going through the contacts here. Obviously the float is in great shape. Test complete. This can also be used to determine if the float is a pump up or a pump down. So if you don't know which orientation the switch is, you know, maybe the label got ripped off, just quickly hook it up and you can find out exactly what the orientation is. So these piggyback plugs um, tend to be interesting. So you would think that you would just plug it into the back kind of like so and kind of like so and you might be able to test continuity but in reality that's wrong so float switches um, you're only breaking one leg so on the piggyback switch this prong here is just a straight pass through it just goes straight through it's always live um, but then this prong the lower prong we're actually going in through the float switch round and round and round and then back up to this end over here um, and then out. So it's got to go through the float switch here. So what we got to do to test our continuity here is we'll just throw one of the little prongy deals there and then throw one in here. And then once we lift the switch up, indicating once again it's a pump down switch and we've got continuity, liquid level drops, float shuts off. Um, so it's kind of cool, oh, whoops. Um, anyways, it's kind of cool. You're able to quickly and easily determine one, if the float switch is uh, working properly, open in, the right, uh, open in the right position, closed in the right position. Now, obviously, if I raised this and lowered it and the noise didn't shut up or I never got any noise at all, um, we've got a problem. So it's an easy way to tell if you've got anything to be concerned about. What we're testing for or what we're checking here is that the switch operates as expected. Um, so keep that in mind. Hopefully uh, this helped you out of a bit of a pickle if you were in one. Um, so don't forget to stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more great content, and we'll catch you next time.